Hi! So, I'm currently whispering because everyone just lives too close here. So in this video, you will see the plants at the back, my old house right there. This is the picture I did in front of it. Anyways, I'm going to be responding to questions I've never been asked before. It's kind of like a therapy session, so please answer with me so I don't feel lonely. Oh yeah, I'm in the Philippines right now. I'm back home after like two to three years and I'm talking to myself in my terms do you like who you are right now i actually do i love how i dress now wearing these types of clothes make me really happy but physically wise you know you always want what you don't have oh my god it's weird and i hope they don't see me and find me weird i still get conscious of stuff and i get insecurities you know i try to love myself you know, manifest it. I'm in that phase right now. And personality wise, like, I'm really timid. I hope I can talk more with people and, like, do conversations because usually other people do conversations with me and I just respond. I don't even respond. All I do is pretty much react. And what would you truly regret not doing if you die tonight? Oh. I would regret not loving the people I love more. I have received so much love from my family and I feel like I haven't gave love to them yet. And I'm just saying I love you and I appreciate you and all that kind of stuff. I usually just express it through birthday letters. It's really sad. Top 5 negative habits that you must change to something better. It's like comparing myself to others in Asia. The beauty standards, I don't fit there. And I know that. But like comparing myself to others, having a lighter skin tone, it's just a thing. You will see whitening soaps, whitening lotion every time. Such a standard that everyone wants to be in. I shouldn't do that because I'm beautiful the way I am. And people in Italy, they always want to like tan themselves. Fourth negative habit, being so overly humble for people to be happy and so it kind of ruins me I belittle myself I don't celebrate my hard work and my achievement to make other people feel better about themselves I don't know, is that bad? I feel like it is bad because it really ruins my mental health My third negative habit is not expressing myself more Like all my emotions get bottled up inside me And I just cry without saying why I always say to people like I'm okay, I'm fine And I think a lot of people do this as well So if you do that, let's both stop I can never do that procrastinating that for example reading i sometimes you know bored and so i think oh i can do this tomorrow. i can read like 50 pages tomorrow so that i can only read 10 pages tonight and i don't do that you know those things where like oh i should really do it but then you postpone it because you think of another excuse i'm really good at excuses <laughs> so since i was a child i've always always finished what was on my plate i just have this thing at the back of my head saying you have to finish what's on your plate so like i force myself to eat it even though i'm full but it's like i don't really feel that i'm full so yeah are you afraid of being true to yourself when others are around it's pretty simple you don't want people to hate you so you put this facade and you act different for people to like you because if you throw away this facade you're afraid that people are gonna hate you or you you actually are have you done something recently that you could be proud of i'm currently proud of reading like i don't read but i've been reading every day because i get to sleep earlier i also get to acknowledge new words what do you really want from life just want to be happy honestly be with the people i love do the things that i could be proud of and like youtube is one of those things ah. What annoys me the most? I'm usually like a quiet person. I'm just a living Jeff. So when people like see that I'm quiet, people like say, Why are you so quiet today? I don't know why, but it really irks me, especially people that do know me. I can't do conversations. I can't speak. 
as well as others what makes life meaningful i think it's the people who stay by your side help you when you need them and appreciate you for who you are also like food <laughs> what life would you like to have if you get reincarnated in your next life as Yungi said to be a rock I kinda want that. How do you deal with problems? I don't deal with them. I usually just run from them. I cry because of them. That's pretty much it. It's so hard. Watch horror movies by yourself. Why would I? I usually watch scary movies because other people want me to watch them with them. So that's the only time I do. I don't want to traumatize myself. Why would I do that? Look at my hands. So cute. If you can pick a song that you can listen for a lifetime, which song? Save me by BTS never gets old to me. I don't know how it does it. I don't know how it's such a bop. I never get sick of it and I usually get sick of stuff really easily. I get obsessed with them at first and then like I get sick of them later on. Which instrument do you want to be an expert at? Piano. It's just such a cool thing, you know. Oh my gosh, she's so cool. She could play the piano whatever. If you were to debut as an idol, what concept would you like to have? Maybe the cute one. No, I really do like New Jeans' concept. If you don't know who New Jeans is, please listen to them. I love all their songs. They're all pops banger. My loop playlist every day. What's your favorite day from Monday to Sunday? Saturday. I do go to school on Saturday. But like, I don't want it to be Sunday. Since Sunday is like the last day before school. What's your favorite number? From 1 to 107. Since I went to Italy when I was 7 years old, I first went back in the Philippines at the date of like 7 like I don't remember the month right now so 7 has been my favorite number since that day scale of 1 to 10 how much do you love yourself? I guess 6 uh, or maybe 5 I don't even know or maybe like 4 uh, I have to work on that <laughs> if you have the opportunity to decide for yourself will you pursue your dream career? I remember that INFPs like to do what they want to do <laughs> and that is me <laughs> that makes me happy I'm happy to post videos on YouTube to read my charmies comments I'm happy to be able to eat what I'm craving I'm happy to be like going out swimming with my cousins with my family I'm happy to be able to go to the Philippines finally I really missed it and I'm just happy doing this video it was a really good therapy session and yeah like <laughs>